really that's why I really liked that argument they had because I'm like Percy is a hundred percent in the right. Annabeth could not be more wrong. She's afraid of this Cyclops in front of her that cries and wants peanut butter and just wants to help everybody because of one that scared her and tried to hurt her when she was seven. And that's a very valid thing to happen, but it's also showing like it's messing up her friendship with Percy. She even is just sitting there trying to call him a monster like in front of Tyson and he and P Percy's like, no, like I thought I thought you let him in camp because he saved my life. And it's like, well, yeah, okay, so why are you a, why are you calling him a monster then if he saved my life? Like, what is wrong with him then if that's what he did? That's the only thing you know about him is that he cares about me and he's here because he cares about me and he helped me not die. And so why is he a monster again? Like, there's no actual reason for it besides just, like, the prejudice, basically. It also shows Annabeth's character that she can't just be told she's wrong. She needs nope. to actually experience it. And that is a trend throughout the books. Oh, my God. Like, uh, a friend of mine is reading Battle of the Labyrinth, and that book is so hard. Her whole fatal flaw thing. That, like, she thinks that she knows better than everybody, and so when she realizes that she's wrong about something, it's, like, literally pulling, like, teeth to try to get her to just accept it. Like, and it's a very, like, uniquely Annabeth kind of um, personality trait. Like, when Percy's wrong, he'll admit it, like, right away. And he's like, yeah, okay, fine. Like, I, I'm wrong about that. Or he kind of assumes sometimes that he might not be correct about things. Um, but with her, it's it's like literally like a battle. <laughs>